Sa ibang balita, positibo raw ang naging tugon ng mga kinatawan ng MILF at MNLF sa nais ng gobyernong gawing bukas sa Bangsa Moro Group ang peace engagement. Ayon nito kay Presidential Peace Advisor Jesus Duresa na tumulak pa Malaysia para sa isang pulong sa mga kinatawan ng MILF. Makibalita tayo kay Von Aquino. Sa kauna-unahang pagkakataon sa ilalim ng Duterte administration, tumulak na patungong Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia ang Government Peace Panel para makipagpulong sa mga kinatawan ng MILF. Matapos hindi maipasa ang Bangsamoro Basic Law o BBL noong Aquino administration, magsisimula muli ang Bangsamoro Peace Engagement na layong lumika ng Bangsamoro Enabling Law. The roadmap o approved by President Rodrigo Duterte is for us already to start working towards a comprehensive and an inclusive work in implementing previously signed agreements. Ayon pa kay Presidential Peace Advisor Jesus Duresa, positibo naman daw ang tugon ng mga nakausap nilang kinatawan ng MILF at MNLF sa nais ng gobyerno na gawing inclusive o bukas sa mga Bangsamoro Group ang peace engagement. One of the things we're going to discuss with the MILF uh, panel is really Where are the low-hanging fruits? Where are the priorities? Uh, so that we, 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 and also how we are, we are going to work together so that we can deliver, yeah? we can deliver the, those, the, those dividends uh, more efficiently and more effectively. We hope for an early uh, passage of an enabling law that is inclusive and will converge all the uh, signed agreements with the Bangsamoro. Mm -hmm. We had already an initial meeting with Kagi Murad, head of the MILF. We are going to engage also with the MNLF. Pag-uusapan din sa pulong sa Malaysia ang pagbuo ng Bangsamoro Transition Commission. The BTC, as you know, is the mechanism that will craft the enabling law to replace the BBL. It, will, it can even propose amendments to the Philippine Constitution, if necessary. Von Aquino, JMA News.